hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that's trying to have a yellow no buy. And today it is my third day in my gloss god week, I guess it is. And I'm using the Touch Me palette and this is also one of the collab palettes. They call it the Creators Collection. I don't know how many of these they have, but I think it's maybe six I have three. So this is a collab with a Swedish influencer called Spindelsven or Ida, that is her real name. And it looks like this and I've been following Ida for such a long time, like a couple of years. And she came out with this one and I did really like the color story and yeah, I bought it. So I'm going to do a look with this today and I'm so sorry if you hear something, but like Astrid is here and she is, I don't know what's up with her, but she can't like be still or can you behave now? She's playing with things and she's, I just don't know, <laughs> sometimes she is, is a little bit crazy. Now we are absolutely have to lie here on the table for some reason but like she doesn't fit because it's things here but like she do not never ever care so okay <laughs> i'm going to do a look and even though i do really like the color story with this one i do struggle a little bit i've done a reddish look with this one and i'm thinking about using i think this one Maybe, I think this one and maybe this or that. I don't know, maybe I should just swatch a little bit. I tried to get some inspiration from Ida that has made this palette. So I watched her Instagram, like look she's done with this and see like what am I going to do. So here are the colors that I'm like thinking about using. And I don't know this one. No, I think it will use these two. I do not know, like, there isn't any matte in this one that I want to go with this one. But, um, and yeah, I know that you don't need the matte, but like, I like to have mattes. So I think I will go with these two, maybe. So take this in my crease. Just a little bit, not like take a smaller blending brush so it doesn't get too much. And then go over with this. And me, okay, I'm going to <laughs> prime my eyes and then we get started. Okay, so I will actually start with this one and I guess that that is my puppies. And then take this witch grow. So I'm going to start with my puppies and uh, yeah, I don't know how this will go. <laughs> We just have to wait and see. I think I've used this color. And okay, it's something that I want to talk about that I do not know if you're going to agree with me or if I'm going to offend you or if you're going to like think I'm stupid. Um, But you know, Taylor Swift. She just came out with her 10th album and she's just breaking record after record and now she is um, the first artist ever that has one to ten the top ten on the hot list the billboard hot list and i do not understand i did never thought the taylor swift was so big like people that I follow on Instagram is like crazy about Taylor Swift and I was like I I is she that popular? I have never listened to like Taylor Swift of course I have listened to one or two songs but like if you ask me to name three songs from Taylor Swift I can't like I have no fucking clue Taylor Swift, it's, it's not my kind of music. And like, I was so surprised when people were like, don't talk to me because I'm listening to the new album by Taylor Swift. 
I was like, what? <laughs> are you are you serious? Um, did you understand her greatness? Do you listen to Taylor Swift? And I know that like people at, in my age listen to you, Taylor Swift, and I know she has been like. Yeah, she has made 10 albums, so I guess she has been on this for a, quite a long while. But I have like never like felt an urge to listen to Taylor Swift. Like never. Never ever. And I like, I put on some of the songs from her new album and I was like, no. This is not my thing. And maybe you do wonder then what I do listen to for kind of music. And if I want to be honest, it, it's a mix. It has been so long since I like listen to. I usually don't listen to music. I often listen to podcasts. Um, and then I have some songs like that I like to listen to, but nothing that is like super special. Okay, I'm going in with this now and I hope that this will look good and I think I will take it on my whole lid. I will try it. Um, but yeah, Taylor Swift has never been my thing. My One of my favorite um, bands for a couple of years was the White Stripes. I started to listen to them when I was how old can I have been? 14 maybe? 13? 14? Because a boy that I was crushing on, it was his favorite band, so I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to it. And uh, I was stuck. And um, Yeah, and after that, I've been listening a lot to um, a Swedish band that is called The Knife. Um, also, has been one of my favorites. And Green Day was one of my favorite bands for a long time. But I'm also I've listened a lot to The Beatles, and I did like Amy Winehouse. And uh, Nirvana, Nirvana, N Nirvana, N Nirvana, Nir Nirvana. I hate like words. That I, I have a different um, voice when I'm speaking English. So when it is English words, but I'm trying to like, it's the same words in Swedish and in English, and I'm trying to say it with my English voice, it just sounds weird, but uh, Nirvana, this was also a time in my life and I still listen to Nirvana sometimes, but yeah, Taylor Swift has never been my thing. And yeah, as I said, I do not listen to music that often, uh, mostly when I'm driving in the car and mostly like when I'm driving to work and off work and that takes like 10-15 minutes so it's not like super long listening but yeah just going in with the matte shade again I don't know if this was necessary because this shimmer was really easy to blend out and I don't know if I like the clash up here but okay, I am going to fix my face, take away the followers, fix my face. I might put something in my inner corner because I'm thinking about this pink one. But I don't know, maybe I'll just take some highlighter that I have. But yeah, I will fix that and then I'll come back. So I'm back and I didn't take anything in my inner corners for my face. I did use my skin release from Nabla, but today it looks off just off? I don't know. 
And I also used my contour stick from Isadora. And then I did made a huge mistake. First one was not a mistake. I did use my stick blush from Colourpop in Cool It. Went really good, looked really, really good. But then I used my stick um, highlighter in Star Bright. Brit. Brit. Star Brit. It looks, I don't know if it looks good to you, but it looks like a fucking mess. It just look like I put glitter oil over my face and I can't remember that this was like that. This has never been like my favorite stick highlighter. It doesn't smell funky so I guess it might have been like that. And I did try to blend it out with my sponge and also with my fingers but it just looks like I have put some s small glitter specks on my face and I'm so mad about it, I just hate it. And then also this Skin Realist doesn't look good today. Maybe I should have a higher shirt on. Maybe that's the problem. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> For my waterline I did use Love from NYX and on my lips I took Mellow Mauve with the Majestic from LH Cosmetics. and. I do really like the eyes. I don't think that... I think that I just could have done a look with this one, if I'm going to be honest. I do really like how this shimmer look, and it was so easy to, like, blend up in my crease, which I'm really, really happy about. And, yeah, I, I do struggle a little bit, like... <laughs> the, it's on the free mattes. I wish that it was like a blue matte. Why do I wish for blue mattes all the time? Or like a matte purple. I think that would have looked really good. But that's just me. I do love to have a matte to my shimmer. Um, but yeah, I do like this shimmer. This shimmer is called Witch Grove. And... I do really like it and it was really really easy to work with so I do like this look but like my base is destroying everything for me I was planning on doing another video with this makeup but like I I don't want to and I was like putting on my setting spray and I was like hoping it to look better but it still looks like shit I don't know if you can see oh that's too light it just looks awful. Maybe it looks good in the camera, but like in the mirror in real life, it looks like total shit. So I actually think that I will wash this off. And I usually have my makeup on the rest of the day. But this one, I can't stand it. But yeah, that was all for this video. I do like this palette. But I think like the Gloss Gods palettes for me, I want to use something else with them. Um, but at the same time it is a 9 pan palette and I love that this is a Swedish cruelty free indie brand and that is, I do really love it. Like it's colorful colors with a small indie brand from Sweden and they do ship worldwide and yeah I don't know what more to say. I hate, like this is a bluish look and I do really like it and then I mess up my base. Like I can't. This is going in the trash. That's all I can say. I'm not keeping this one. And it bugs me that this was so nice. When I put the blush on I was like, why doesn't I use this more? And then I put this on and it looks like total shit. So this is going in the trash. But yeah, uh, I hope that you like this video and I hope that you are liking this week. I'm trying to do maybe like small get red with me in these videos. Like, yeah, it's not a long get red with me, but like talk a little bit more about than just the makeup. And I hope that you like that. But okay, oh, that's all for this video. And if you're not subscribing to my video, yeah, if you're not subscribing to my video, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one that is hopefully going to be tomorrow. I don't know. Bye!